And this game is called Simon Says. I'm sure you've played it before you played in class. So I'm going to give you a command and you're going to do it, but only if I say Simon Says. So go ahead and stand up and do it with me. Here we go. Simon Says, touch your shoulders. Simon Says, touch your head. Simon Says, touch your knees. Simon Says, clap once. Clap twice. Oh, did you clap twice? All right, if you clap twice, then you're out. You can keep playing this game at home. Simon Says is a super fun game, and it works with a certain type of sentence. We're going to be discussing today two different types of sentences and what makes them different. So when we play Simon Says, we're using something called a telling sentence. Now, we've used this in class before today. Before, so we're going to review today what is a telling sentence. A telling sentence is something that I'm telling you, simply, whether it's something to do, something about me, something about outside, any sentence that is telling you something that ends with a period. So a telling sentence could be, Miss Stam, touch your head. That's a telling sentence. A telling sentence could be, it is raining outside. A telling sentence could be, I ate eggs for breakfast. Those are all telling you something. The second set of sentence we're going to be talking about today is called an asking sentence. An asking sentence simply is something that you ask. It uses our question words. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. All of those different words are what asking sentences are going to start with. And at the end of an asking sentence, if I ask a question, what do you think needs to come at the end? A question mark. A question mark will always come at the end of our asking sentences. So I have a little activity today, and you can go ahead and do this along with at home. You can get out some paper, write some different sentences down, and organize them in the right ways because over here I have our asking sentences, and over here I have our telling sentences. And on my table right here, I've all mixed up different types of sentences. And we're going to pick up one up one at a time, and we're going to read through each. And you're going to decide, is it asking or is it a telling, knowing the difference between both. So here's my first sentence. It says, what did you eat for breakfast? Now there are two different clues in my sentence here that will tell me what kind of sentence it is. I'll read it one more time. What did you eat for breakfast? Well, I can see that the first word in my sentence is what, and I can see that my sentence ends with a question. That tells me this sentence is a asking sentence. It is asking a question. So I'm gonna put it over here under my asking side. Hey, tell me, what did you eat for breakfast? All right, let's see what my next sentence is. I'm gonna pick it up. Let's read it together. My next sentence says, it is raining today. It really is, it really is raining outside. Now, this sentence I see, it has a period at the end, and it's telling me something. It is telling me that it's raining today. So this kind of sentence is a telling sentence. This is one of our telling sentences. It is raining today. We know that because it ends with a period, and it's telling us something. All right, next sentence. Mmm. Let's see. It says, how old are you? And I have two clues. I'm starting with a question word, how, and I'm ending with a question mark. How old are you is a asking sentence. It's asking us a question. Hey, how old are you? Probably six or seven. All right, it's gonna go under our asking side. It is an asking sentence. All right, let's try another one. Ooh, this Sam likes this sentence. It says, I like to go camping in the mountains. That's true, Miss Sam loves to go camping in the mountains. She can't wait till we can get back outside doing that again. This is telling you something about me. It starts with that capital, it ends with a period. So that's, this is a, Telling sentence. I like to go camping in the mountains. It's telling you something, so it's a telling sentence. It's gonna go on our telling side. So, so far we have 
two question sentences, asking sentences that are asking a question, and we have two telling sentences that are telling us something that end with period. All right, I've got a few more. Here's the next one. Ooh, this one's not about the stamp. It says, Mr. Russell has a son named Judah. Is that true? Yep, it is. It starts with our capital, it ends with a period, and it's doing what, boys and girls? It's telling you something. So it is a telling sentence. So it's gonna go on the red side. It is a telling sentence. Mr. Russell does have a son named Judah, and he's pretty cute, and you should have seen him in our video a few videos ago. All right, this is our last sentence strip. Here we go. It says, who died on the cross for our sins? Mm -hmm. It starts with the word who, and it ends with a question mark. That tells me this is asking us a question. So it is an asking sentence. Now you answer this question for me. Who died on the cross for our sins? What did we just celebrate this last weekend? Easter, which means our answer is Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. This is an asking sentence. So nice job today, boys and girls. At home, go play Simon Says. Practice your telling sentences. Maybe play a game using your asking sentences too. You can also write down different sentences, see if you can organize them and put them in the right categories. Maybe see if you can teach your brother or his sister the difference between an asking sentence and a telling sentence. All right, first grade, missing you a lot. See you later.